What's up guys, it's Yuna, welcome uh, to another LBA battle, battle, this is actually week 10, round 19 um, of the season, and I'm facing T Breezy, aka Tyler, aka the guy who founded this league, also I'm doing this with face cam this time, so, you know, we're, we're gonna see how it goes, I got a layout, um, cause like I'm trying to make this kind of a bigger and better thing on the channel, but you know, we'll see how it goes, anyway, uh, I have a battle against Tyler today, um, who, is honestly a really really good battler with a super threatening team um at, like as you guys can see he has a cloister um he has a very nice defensive core here of blissey and mandibuzz he has latios which can do a pretty pretty big number to my team he has hariyama which is here probably to try to take on thunderous 1v1 and then he also has mega mawile he had the option to bring talon flame um but opted not to since i do like my team actually matches up fairly well versus talon flame if you look at it but you know that's beside the point um I brought more T-Wave this week because, you know, I feel like T-Wave really is the way to go with my team just because I do have a lot of slower things and stuff that hits kind of awkward speed tiers like Excadrill and Gyarados. Um, so if I do T-Wave and uh, do all that stuff, then it makes it a lot easier for those mods to come in for free and uh, to outspeed a majority of the other team. So anyway, also, um, two shoutouts, two more shoutouts, and then I promise we'll start the battle after I talk about my mods real quick. Um, anyway, first shout out to D Train for recording this. Put my logo in the corner. Um, it's like, okay, so this the thing is up there. It's like that way. And then uh, shout out uh, to Mr. Murkrow, aka Wyatt, for uh, jenning me on mods this week. Um, oh, always shout out to you, man. Anyway, looking at my team, I brought pretty standard stuff. Ended up bringing Weezing this week to uh, try to help me versus Mega Mawile. Um, I brought DD Gyarados. I have a uh, Scarf Drill, I believe. Uh, I have. T-Wave, um, Mixed Thunderous, I have Clefable, and I have Gothitelle, so let's go ahead and kick it off. Um, as we see, my boy T-Breezy is issuing the challenge. He leads with uh, Mawile, which is actually a huge threat to my team, as I end up leading with Gothitelle. Um, so, you know, immediately bad matchup straight out of the gate for me, but I'm actually not choice to Gothitelle this week. Um... If I recall correctly, I'm I'm either Culber or Life Orb. I think I'm Life Orb. Because I end up getting the turn one T-Wave off. Uh, as uh, We are going to see the Para full Para right there, which is a little bit unfortunate. And uh, But you know that... I feel like I had justification to go for that because it lets Weezing come in and... Uh, like flamethrower and all that stuff he ends up withdrawing his mawile right here and going straight at into latios which is kind of a problem for my team uh, as i talked about earlier but i just end up going for a pain split right here i get some hp back weaken this latios and i don't see lefties which is good he goes for the shadow ball as i have to stay in and go for the sludge bomb um and we don't see life orb right there and i know for sure that's not a soul vest so he's down to two items one of which is scarf the second of which is like I did not expect this at all. Like, I brought in Clefable and was like, yo, like, th this is light work. Clefable is about to eat this Latios alive, but we're gonna go ahead and see that later. Anyway, he goes out into Mawile right here, um, which is very threatening, as I just end up getting my rocks, kind of predicting him the switch, and knowing that he couldn't really do a whole lot to me with Psyshock, um, considering I am max physically defense this week. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out, um, my thing, my thing being my Clefable, into, uh, Weezing and kind of making an effort to sack but at the same time not really as uh, he's just gonna go back out into his latios and this is an opportune time to pain split because a it does not trigger sucker punch which is nice and uh, b it allows me to live another player up as he uh, just goes into latios makes a good play takes the rocks damage and the pain split damage but we'll be able to get by wheezing and take an early six five five lead i'm gonna go ahead and go out into my clefable here as he goes for the side shock and as you guys can see i was at 171 beforehand that does 70 damage as i end up going for the t wave so you know clefable can stay in here while this all day and he's Lum, Latios, which is actually really cool. Um, kind of a good way to stop T-Wave spam. But um, he's just going to end up going for another Psy Shock, as I don't really mind. Just Yeah, I click Moonblast. Um, I feel like my better play right there was click T-Wave, um, because then I could have healed back up um, in his face and just kept spamming Soft Boil in the Moonlight, whichever one I had, and then eventually knocked him out. But he ends up going into his Mawile right here. Um, he's going to take more rocks damage, but it's not really an issue. I'm just going to Soft Boiled and try to scout if uh, he does have Iron Head, as uh, he does get paralyzed, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but it's like, at the same time, we're both playing for playoff position right now. Him to get in and me to... Um, 
in me to secure a higher seed, uh, so he's going to go ahead and knock me out right there, um, as I will go ahead and go out into my Thunderous right here, because, like, I was like, okay, my boy Thundy is actually the team mascot, he is so strong, he will be able to knock this out, but right there, I borderline choked, because he ends up just absolutely eating it, so that's really bad for me, I should have just gone into this and, uh, tried to click sub on the sucker, but, uh, I didn't end up doing that, so a little bit unfortunate, um, but, you know, I guess, I guess what are you gonna do about it, I just ended up going for the EQ right here, yeah, like, I did have EQ, there was zero reason for me to go into Thunderous right there, but, you know, <sighs> can't go back on it, he goes in, out into his Hariyama right here, I feel like his best play really was to click Fake Out, um, but he doesn't end up clicking Fake Out, I believe he ends up predicting my switch into, um, what, what, what other thing was he predicting right there? Gothitelle. Yeah, he was predicting Gothitelle. So I'm able to knock him out with two waterfalls, which puts me in a pretty good position. Um, as he goes out into his Mandibuzz, and I know Mandibuzz is probably just going to roost or something like that. So I decide, hey, I'm going to get as much damage off as I can. I'm going to go straight away for the DD, as he ends up going for the Defog, which is very good for me. Because now I am plus one. I am DD three attacks. Um... Waterfall, Crunch, and Earthquake. Um, so I can just get off a good chunk right here with Waterfall uh, to the point where I can revenge him with uh, with Gothitelle if I do get Whirlwinded out into it. And guess what? I do! Ha! So anyway, <laughs> I can just fire off a Life Orb T-Bolt right here end up knocking him out, which is very, very nice for me. Um, because that means... Like, Blissey is still around, um, which is kind of a problem for this, but you guys will see this fresh innovation right here. He ends up going out into Blissey, and uh, I I brought Taunt Gothitelle this week because I really thought it matched up well versus his team. It stopped uh, Cloyster from shell smashing, and I can just uh, start clicking Psy Shock right now because uh, he does have the Ice Beam to try to pick off Thunderous, which is, like, that's cool, but um, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to end up working out for him as I'm just going to be able to continue Psy shocking him uh, I do get a crit right there which is a little bit unfortunate no I don't get a crit never mind um, but he just ends up ice beaming me again and um, at this point I didn't want to risk getting like a super low roll as uh, taunt wears off and I know I can just taunt again so it's not that big of a deal end up doing that as he ends up going for the ice beam the only bad part is that uh, I believe now it takes two Psy shocks to kill him no I actually Actually, it's a roll from this range, I think. I, I remember calculating it after the battle, but um, I end up getting the roll, knocking him out, leaving myself on 4 HP as he goes out into his cloister, and uh, he has to go for the Icicle Spear because he knows uh, that he doesn't want to take a T-Bolt. He was actually um, Lumberry, which is really cool. Um, but I'm just going to go out into uh, my Excadrill right here, end up going for the EQ because I know that... Uh, like, as long as I get chip damage off, I can knock him out with a crunch from Gyarados, uh, assuming that I live. But I am running a little bit of bulk, so I know I can live. Um, but he ends up going for the Icicle Spear. This will be able to knock me out. And let me go ahead and pause it right here for a sec. Oh, man, I got a crit. Uh, um, <laughs> so I'm going to go out into my Gyarados right here. And this is where the play of faking out earlier would have really helped him. Um, because if he had, like... In my mind, there was no reason not to click fake out, and like, I know Tyler knows this, I'm not like, and Tyler, if you're watching this, I'm not trying to be like, oh man, Tyler's such a bad player, because like, clearly, you're a very, very good player, and probably better than me on most days, um, but... I'm just trying to like explain it to the people if you get what I'm saying anyway um, I felt like fake out really was the best play right there um, because if I stayed in then it's like oh man he gets like free damage off at, and as you guys will see that damage does actually kind of kind of matter because he's gonna go for the rock blast is gonna connect and uh, at this point I'm like super nervous because if he crits any one of these I lose and uh, fake out would have definitely done 16 damage but I'm just gonna be able to knock him out with a crunch very 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 close 1-0 very very good game Tyler it was a pleasure pleasure facing you um, so um, if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel also if you like the face cam let me know um, and the layout and stuff. If you have any suggestions to like improve the layout or how I'm doing a face cam, let me know in the comment section below. But with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop. Stop. <laughs>